What up? How y'all doing? It's me, your boy KD Otaru, and you're welcome to another splendid episode of the Artmosphere brought to you by the Pawn Collective. You already know what we is. We're all about vibes, we're all about crews, we're all about creativity, we're all about arts, we're all about the universe, we're all about humanity. And I'm always here with somebody special, but I'm gonna take my time to give a brief introduction. This person has done a lot in the art industry, in the Nigerian art scene. He has motivated a lot of young artists. He's motivated even me. Yes, your boy. I'm not gonna be ashamed to, to admit that. <laughs> so I'm not trying to overhype or anything. And he is the, uh, hmm, let me look for another word, okay? My my keep on simple. Actually, he started con contemporary realism. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you have a clue of what we're talking about. I'm talking about no other than the one and only Mr. Ken Wadiogu. I put Mr. He's fresh. He's yes. Fresh, but, you know, you know. It could have been an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it is. But I think like you have to practice before you have that title. So yeah, yeah. But in a way, I'm practicing because I'm still doing like installations. So that should come out as yeah, that can, like, that counts as engineering. construction to an extent. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like funny that you're an engineer and also a very big name in the art industry. Like, how do you juggle both? Yeah. Like the titles, actually. How do you juggle both? Uh... Where I'm not practicing engineering. <laughs> that's, that's the best way to juggle that. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, but basically, for me, it's. Um, I just want to be fulfilled. Yeah. Uh, if, yeah. if engineering gives me fulfillment, then why not? If art gives me fulfillment, then why not? If art and engineering gives me fulfillment, then why not? Yeah. Right? I never, I never like. Um, I, I stopped trying to restrict what you know the future has for me i just you know make sure i find fulfillment to whatever i'm doing so yeah. for me that that is the best way to juggle that kind of thing <laughs> now the video direct thing because you also yeah. direct videos yeah. i've seen i mean you guys have seen video, you know, videos <laughs> you've seen videos directed by him obviously <laughs> like how did that come by how did that come were you just trying to explore or it's always been well so It's crazy how when I started, everything I tried to do was by myself. Yeah. My right. website, my pictures, my references, my ideas, like everything I did, everything I designed, I became a brand manager. If I, I was designing my if I that designed my business cards, I designed my business logo. <laughs> That's you know, a lot, I, man. Yeah. <laughs> I I wrote my business. Uh, my business like uh um uh because uh, i have a couple of um i i opened some businesses so i i wrote the the whole business proposal in fact i used to do everything myself because i believe that you know the internet was created for us to learn with and, and know certain yeah. things so i was always friends with google so one of the things i liked to, to do those, those days was to take my reference pictures for my for my works yeah. so i take like a lot of pictures i'll direct people you know i learn about lightning i learn about certain things i want to put that in yeah, my work yeah. child school you know certain kind of um ways of taking you know pictures yeah and i think the interest with photoshop just increased my interest to even videography because then i had a friend who was a musician yeah. and needed some form of creative direction yeah. so jokingly i take my phone we record some things i take my <laughs> camera that i used to take some pictures we record some things and man did that did that did that did that did that did that a lot of times till i realized that i could actually do you know video direct <laughs> i could actually be a video director <laughs> if the right resources are given to me yeah so basically recently i started getting the right resources for it so yeah, I mean, I mean that that's crazy because yeah. I don't even need to talk much about <laughs> you because I mean there's no way you look at the Nigerian art scene and your name won't pop up. You understand? Yeah. Aside the masters and the uh, yeah, let's just call them masters. <laughs> but the next ones I'm about to say might be offensive. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> so, I mean, it's 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 great. You no, know, it's great um, seeing you come up and not just come up by yourself, yeah. bringing other younger artists up to when it's evident in your work. Yeah. And which is which is which is um, what brings me to the topic for the day. We're talking about grit, perseverance, and hard work. Yeah. And um, you are like the definition yeah. of hard work in the 
Let's say young Nigerian art scene, yeah. basically. I mean, we'll speak, we never that, we never old like that. <laughs> <laughs> we never too old like we're that. Never we're never too old. So like, we think we're picking. You're you're more like like a um, would I say like an inspiration, basically, mm-hmm. more or less like yeah. an inspiration, and that's the beautiful part of it. But now, in terms of perseverance yeah. and putting all the work in your yeah. craft, like what 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 you think about that? How's it like? worked out for you i mean i know you you're a public speaker too and you motivate people yeah, so yeah, like yeah. <laughs> just, just let loose well, uh i used to think there was a trick to everything i used to think that um there was a method right if you knew certain things you'd basically just crack the code on you know being successful as whatever person you are whether you're creative or an engineer or a doctor yeah so when I went into art, I went as, you know, with talent and love, right? yeah, the passion for it. But at the point, I had to sustain that passion, right? And to sustain that passion is, is a mental thing. It's not a physical thing, basically. right? But a lot of people find it difficult to sustain that passion because then they start thinking of how to be successful in whatever they are doing. So they start looking for things that are not there, like, is there any trick to it? Do yeah, you understand? Yeah, What's yeah. the method to it? Yeah. Right, but every time I watch videos of docu- on documentaries of like people who I really regard as my models, as my role models, people who I regard as my mentors, yeah. right, in indirectly, right, B- people like Kanye West and Jay Z and you know and Snoop Dogg and yeah, yeah. even Chimamanda Adichie, right, yeah. I hear one thing and everything they keep saying is that they worked hard. Yeah, it, it, somebody should have at least. <laughs> Casted the whole thing. Like, <laughs> like, like, like nobody worked hard though. Yeah. This is how they did it, right? But nobody's casting it. Like yeah. everybody worked and it's, hard. And it's evident in their work. You, it's, like you just see it. You just bro, know, bro. They are bringing something to this world. That's that. That's not. That's not. That's not an easy job. That's a hard. That's that's a hard job. Yeah. Right. They're bringing yeah. something new to this world. Ideas, fashion, lifestyle. Yeah. Right. Music, sound, concepts. They are expert. They are scientists. Right, yeah. because they keep experimenting every day, yeah. right? And that exper- ex- you know, ex- experience of experimenting on certain things is hard work, right? Because yeah, you have yeah. to sustain that energy. Exactly. You have to exactly. continue to improve exactly. that energy. You have yeah. to continue to build that energy. So people don't know this. So they kill the energy and they try to look for a side way to, you know, getting that success. Yeah. But I realized that, man, it's hard work, man. It's so easy, so clear, glaring. You need to have the passion. You need to have the 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 motive. You need to have the 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 the, the feel and you need to work very, yeah, yeah, very yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. And you know, every one of my friends who, you know, worked hard with me at that time, right? I seen the 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 progress of working hard. Yeah, and, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm 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 also like I'm also a witness because <laughs> yeah. I remember um the the one time I came to your place and uh, you know you told me to like focus on my style like yeah. people know my particular style you know the inverted and all of that yeah. you told me to like focus and work on it yeah. and I thought about it for like a few months yeah. and I was like okay let me just try something <laughs> and when I did yeah. like the attention started shifting yeah like you mentioned and it's it's beautiful i think it's one thing to uh, listen to advice from every other person it's another thing to listen to advice from your peers yeah yeah and that's the yeah. beautiful thing and yeah. when you see because they know you exactly best. they yeah, know you yeah, best so yeah. it's not like they're trying to make you feel like your daddy is talking yeah, to you no. and all <laughs> exactly like they, they talk to you like guy man to guy man talk yeah. you, you feel me and i feel that's what yeah. a lot of um young artists need to put in motion you understand yeah, like yeah. Open your mind. Talk to your talk to people who've yeah. gone ahead of you in yeah. the in the in the, yeah. in the game and yeah. listen to what they're saying. Yeah. Work hard. When I tell people like, "Yo, paint. Don't do one painting and wait for it to blow on Instagram before you f- just keep working, keep man. Working. Just keep putting that stuff out. And keep working. I think it's beautiful the way you the way you put it out and all of that. And it's because creativity is not seasonal. I'm telling you, man. It, it just it comes. You. It comes. It comes. It comes. It comes. If you can't, you know, bring out, bring it out as it comes yeah then you are you are you are 
delaying there is there is there is there's now a lot of mess that you consume yeah, or you, you be exposed yeah. to that will just mess up the the idea <laughs> or the concept i tell so, you yeah, but i tell you I tell you so now about you being a self-taught multidisciplinary mad <laughs> i like i like using the multidisciplinary <laughs> artist Bruh. because people are like ah, ah this man it's like i mean <laughs> first things first that genre yeah yeah it, it, it has so power. broad it's, it's so, so broad, broad and, and it's powerful yeah because yeah, yeah. aside from you just claiming to be that type of person yeah. your work also needs to tell about it and yeah. i'm seeing it in in, in your yeah. in your in your crime i mean you've done a lot of stuff i'm going through your <laughs> it, I'm, bah, so many so many uh, so many uh, one of my favorite has been that um yeah. the migrant yeah. project and stuff yeah. and i'm like yeah. yo when i first saw it how yeah. did the idea come up like what inspired it um yeah this is a, this is a very I, I said this story all the time i feel <laughs> like i feel like <laughs> when people are going through you know make hopefully they write something about me in future when they're looking for articles to write about me they're going to see like very repeated um, stories like oh yeah yeah we, we had this one we had this one we had this. <laughs> oh yeah we had this one in the last three episodes <laughs> <laughs> anyways anyways um for me uh i was in I, I traveled to i think that was my best decisions there was just so much noise yeah. um where i was uh, I, I got really depressed i got really I was, I was at my lowest point my dad was sick um there was just a lot of things going on in my life at that time so i just yeah. you know i don't know what happened but i just needed you know that break needed to change, like, yeah. i needed that change do you understand so i just called and i was like you know what I just i need to leave this country All right so booked the ticket so I had everything, went to London. Uh, and when I got into London, weirdly, I started getting a lot of messages like, you're in London. Oh, come for drinks. Oh, come <laughs> to the gallery. Oh, <laughs> Man, you have no idea. So I went, went to see some people, um, went to see a good friend, Barry. Um, Barry linked me to Bomb Factory at Foundation and that's how I got the residency. And so, while um speaking to you know the the gallery we discussed we discussed you know she was more of like create anything you wanted to create like anything like it didn't have to make sense it does not it does not have to make sense right yeah. just it has to make sense to you yeah and yeah. it has to be something that you feel like it's not people have not seen before yeah. so i went back it took me a while it took me almost a month to come up with the idea because i had like in fact i did some works before i thought of before I finalized on the box idea. But what happened was I was in my I was in my apartment and I love to look around when I'm thinking of ideas. I love yeah. to look around, love to check the cup and, and the wine and why am I drinking, yeah, yeah. you know, wine, right? Why not any other thing that I could have seen in this place? Yeah, yeah. Right. And in my apartment I had some boxes in the in my in my in my place. And on a normal day, I don't have boxes. Yeah. yeah. I all that things. But they never come in boxes for kind of like, <laughs> they come in like plastic bags yeah. <laughs> sometimes they hand it to you like tick right exactly but i had lots and lots of boxes yeah. every time you leave the 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 the, the room uh the the, the um, apartment and you go out for a walk you see boxes like lying around everywhere it's almost in fact I got like just the like, was calling. I was you. like, he was calling he me. Was calling this, this is calling I think, me. I think that's the word. Oh, and, and I was like, okay, I can hear. I listen. I listen. I what? And then I, it, it hit. It hit me. Like there is a connection between these boxes and myself. Yeah. As a migrant, as an African migrant, yeah. you see, people think people think on the surface level. They don't yeah, think deep. It's hard, right? That's why they see every migrant as the cliche of what you call migrants yeah and that's exactly. why you had that book that messy incident happen in um what country again where they were really they killed a lot of african migrants that were jumping over like a migrant yeah, caravan yeah, yeah. yeah and it's because people don't understand migration they don't understand it they don't they don't understand the desire to migrate yeah. 
Yeah. They don't understand the, the concept of migration. They've and they there's already this profile, this profiling that they've given yeah, us. Yeah. Right. But when you think of the cardboard box, right, you think of migration. Right. How do you think of migration? If I want to say buy um a pencil, I yeah. go I go online, I go to a store, I order the pencil. The pencil, the 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 company takes the pencil, put it inside the box. Mm -hmm. Right. This box goes and is being shipped from this place to pass ocean land yeah, however it finds yeah. its way it gets to your apartment mm -hmm. right and it has a purpose and that purpose is to get that item of value because that item has value yeah because you purchased it so there's already value so how do you take it from that first that initial location yeah. to the next location there's a purpose for the box yeah right now you bring out that item of value which is the pencil and yeah. the pencil becomes part of that space yeah. Do you understand? The pencil is not Chinese pencil again. Do you understand? It's <laughs> exactly. Arinze's pencil. Yeah. Do you get? It's KD's pencil. Yeah. Do you, do you get the idea? So it becomes part of that space. And what happens to the box at the end? It's been trashed. Yeah. Think about African migration and African migrants. Think about yeah. the people who score goals in Chelsea and yeah. how they were ridiculed when they lost the penalty shot. Yeah. Think about, you know, the people who risked their lives to get to this particular, these certain places yeah. and now become, you know, a very big, um, celeb uh, a very big, you know, personality, yeah. you know, in that space because of the kind of contribution they've had yeah, in that yeah, space. Yeah. Think of how Africa, African culture is, is migrating into even the Western world, pop yeah, culture. Pop Think pop about culture. how there is so much connection and collaboration now with a lot of, you know, you know, black um, owned businesses, right? It's because of migration. And that is what is improving certain things. Culture is improving culture. Yeah, it's improving yeah. the way of we live, improving the way of life. And together so, that's too. But when you buy a Yeezy sneakers <laughs> and it comes in a Yeezy box, do you discard the Yeezy box? You don't discard the you Yeezy box. You discard I mean, it. It's a huge There's flex. so much value. It's a huge flex, obviously. It's a huge flex. <laughs> that is why I painted the boxes. It's to great. sort of give these boxes of as much value, value. Yeah. that you don't dispose the boxes because they are basically us, the migrants. Wow, that is <laughs> probably one of the deepest things I've ever heard. Like, it goes... <laughs> oh, yo, yo, I, I wish you guys could, like, be in my head right now to understand the level that I'm at right now. Like, that that was wonderful, man. That, that was wonderful. And I when I yeah. saw how you yeah. presented the works, yeah, how you presented the works, how the works were created, it gave, like, it gave this same, like, yeah. With this ex explanation you've given, like it's more yeah. vivid now. Now you just see and you're just like, wow. That's yeah. the only anything that comes out of your mind other than <laughs> wow. Unless you don't speak English. That's the thing. So I start stacking the boxes up because also almost like a warehouse. Mm. So you go to a warehouse, you see boxes, you like take one box, put it in the and almost like in as much as all this bushy going on, we still stand yeah. on each other's shoulders. Exactly. Like we still sort of support Yo, ourselves. That, that, right? and so that's a powerful sort of, narrative, man. That's so a powerful sort of, narrative. And that's why I, I, I don't use anything to hook them together. Yeah. I make sure that they basically stand on themselves. Stand on, on themselves, yeah. You know, pile them up like, yeah. so that they support themselves basically to, yeah. to the firm. Yeah. Now, okay, now, now that, that, that's, that's, that's awesome, man. So talking about perseverance, huh? Yeah. Um, obviously, there are uh, challenges one way or the other. Maybe it's not a major challenge, yeah. but there are always challenges in the career of any yeah. artist, especially yeah. an African artist. Yeah. So, like, what are the challenges you've seen, even at this level mm -hmm. of your career, and back then till now, and how you've, like, grown out of it and persevered and kept pushing? Like, what were the challenges you came across, and how did you handle them? Um, I think most of the challenges were handled by the whole community, the whole the brother art community, the brother Nigerian art community, yeah, yeah. right? Because when certain things start happening in the Nigerian art community, certain challenges were solved. Yeah, right. One of the challenges was collaboration. We didn't have much collaboration in the art exactly. world. I mean, I remember. Right? That, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have much collaboration in the art world. Like, I, so at the, I was, at the point, I was like, "What is going on?" Like. The only collaboration I've ever seen, whether with an artist or with a brand, is Mama Nike and Tolawewe. And that is a very 
powerful collaboration. Exactly. And that collaboration will live years and years to come. And, you know, and maybe Victor, a a Kimeno, Kimeno, yeah. do you understand? And, you know, some of the um, companies and organizations he collaborates with to create some yeah, yeah. ideas and art. And I think, I've said those, that is light art I saw. <laughs> that, was <amazing>. <laughs> that was unique. <laughs> that was unique. Man. That was unique. And I think collaboration was a big deal. Yeah. Because collaboration is the future. Like, that's why migration is important. Exactly. Because migration, you know, supports or fuels collaboration. Yeah. Right? So, collaboration is very important. And it's one of the biggest issues we had at that time. And, but we, we decided to now collaborate with ourselves. Right? And which helped. Right? Yeah. It helped young artists. It helped us. It helped... It helped in fact, it's still helping because then yeah. we start, we now realize now that it is us <laughs> against the world. Exactly. Do you understand? If we cannot support ourselves as Nigerian artists or as black artists, nobody else is going to support us. Exactly. Right? Man, that's the same. Nobody it, else is going to support from us, us, right? And us. I think that was even one of the big accolades I was getting from a lot of um, collectors, you know, saying that, oh, Nigerian artists are very, you know, together. You know, there I mean, is, there I, is I, so I, much I, uh, relationship. I'm a, I'm a big... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big witness to that, man. Yeah, like, man. I see it, it's obvious the yeah. work you put it in. And all. I yeah. think, speaking of collaboration, that's like the purpose yeah. for this podcast. Yeah, to exactly. let the young artists to know that, yes, we are together in this. Yeah. All we just got to do is inspire each other, yeah. learn from each other, motivate each other to yeah. be the best of ourselves and yeah. be the best that we can be. Yeah. Grow, move forward in our yeah. careers and stuff. And it's really sure. wonderful that you talked about the whole collaboration stuff. And speaking of which... The, we know you are one of the founders of Artist Connect. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh you, my um, I mean, Zay Stanley and the rest of them. Um, and it's, it's really beautiful what you're doing yeah. for Nigerian artists yeah. and stuff. And that's, that's like, that's like superb. But now let's get a little bit personal. Gang, 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 a little gang. bit personal. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that, I'm not, uh, don't worry. I'm not going to put you on any spot. <laughs> mm -hmm. So ladies, pay attention. Just in case. <laughs> so what's up? It's Mr. Ken Wadiobu. Seen anyone? Is your relationship status? Ken is single. <laughs> <laughs> and ready to mingle. <laughs> I'm not ready That's to what we need to go about it. That's I'm not ready to, to mingle. <laughs> I have my work. Uh, but yeah, I'm single. Uh, I'm not happy saying I'm single. But you're not ready to mingle, right? Are you ready? Wow, <laughs> I'm half ready. I I I figure out that it will happen, so yeah. I'm not gonna stress it, right? I'm just gonna work and work so hard, yeah. and you know, for every time it does not happen yet, <laughs> <laughs> I have the opportunity to add extra work. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, um, how do okay? How does Mister Ken Wajobu? Unwind. Let's say, yeah, it's not every time art, 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 talks, talks, public speeches here yeah. and there. Let's say you're not doing anything work related, not even video yeah. directing and all of that. <laughs> How do you unwind? What movies, do you do? movies, music, I dance. When, when you say movies, is it like the indoor type or you go to the cinema? Nah, indoor. Oh, I think nah, it's, I, I think you're so famous right now. I mean, you can't just <laughs> put your face out so like, bro, uh, okay, yeah. I go to the cinema. Look at my eyes if I just come to my But we have, <laughs> as many people get full now. Get my deal and all of that stuff. And that that's that's really cool, man. Yeah, that's but, really cool. Yeah, well, movies, um, uh, just chilling. Uh, sometimes I call um, um, friends, family, and we just talk about yeah. nonsense for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we really, really want to call it nonsense. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that was it. Well, I'm saying nonsense. So I, don't give, <laughs> I don't give you the, the concept of the... I don't... I don't expose our conversation yeah yeah it's, it's nonsense to people but it's probably important to us yeah. obviously yeah but um but i hardly have a free time right i hardly have the time yeah. i think i unwind while painting mm, that, that's another way to i think i it. unwind while painting i think the whole process of painting to me is not work but it's almost like a it's almost like i don't know it's so calm 
-hmm. you know like you are listening to music you're having so much fun you are you are yeah, you are, you are, right. you are, you are exactly. painting and you go back and you're like ah this is so sick and then you go back again and you touch on the guy and you go back and you're like ah yeah, man yes i think that <laughs> that's, that, that's like the best me. part of course in fact when i'm not doing that that's when i'm stressed <laughs> 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 but but it, it's cool it's cool and yeah. i know you inspire a lot of um young people yeah. as well as even artists of your peers and you understand know, there, there are levels to this art career thingy and all of that but if i could ask what dream do you have for the nigerian arts especially for our generation and people slightly younger than us and all of that what's yeah. the dream that you envision for us i think when you think of um, every industry that has actually been successful yeah. to date, you think of core people who made that success happen. Exactly. When you think of basketball, you think of Michael Jordan. Yeah. Right? If Michael Jordan did not exist, basketball would not be... It won't be the thing it, it is right now, thing. man. And what made it the thing is because he could take basketball to people who would necessarily not watch a basketball match. Exactly. Right? Because of his... He, he, his, his personality, because of his talent, because of his hard work, because of his push, and because every game he plays is an experience. Exactly. Right. When you think of football, you think of Messi, you think of Ronaldo, you think yeah. of Ronaldinho. Yeah. Right? The legend. That's because they took it to people who would necessarily not watch football yeah, exactly. because of the talent, because of the hard work, because of the experience. Right? When you think of art in the Western world, you think of people like Damian Hurst, of you think of I course, mean, people who created experience. So for me, I want my experience to make people who would necessarily not even love art in the first place to actually start fucking with art. Exactly. And for yeah. me, that that is that is that is a, a, a goal for me to have you know as many Nigerians you know more concerned and more conscious about art to have a young person decide to say ah I want to be an artist someday or to have like the most like to have somebody who, dream of it yeah, and actually yeah. achieve it do you understand yeah. so for me that that in, in itself is is more than basically any award or anything yeah. I'm I, th I think this last be. part this last part about you wanting the, the younger generation to like dream of being artists yeah. I think it's something that everybody needs to key into because yeah. many people want to be into the art scene and start doing arts yeah. but they they have this stereotype that uh, actually they blow for yes now yes stuff. now and they'd be like Say you go broke yeah you're broke <laughs> and i starving artist stuff yeah and there and which i think is one of the major problems why a lot of people are killing their talent and skills you know i tell people art is a mix of talent and skills you can have the talent but if you don't harness the skill you might not be as good as somebody who is actually working on it true you understand so i feel this mindsets needs to be killed where they feel like oh if you start doing art in nigeria i'm all your broker <laughs> for you, you don't do exactly that. don't jones so i feel if we can like kill that that's definitely gonna be like a not really it's i won't say starting point because we are not starting we've gone further in in the game and we're putting in other that well, there's no way you would call the art scene and you mention nigeria and people will not say ah oh, nigerian artists are good yeah you understand yeah. i mean we yeah. have to we have to give yeah. credit where credit is due so yeah i'm just saying but we're for killing the, it exactly for the younger generation i think they need to understand that's one of the reasons for this um podcast they need to understand that it's not a dream you should kill those days where our parents used to say uh, why are you join? Go and read to become a doctor, a engineer, or whatnot. Sure, get the degree, but never kill that dream. And that's that's one thing I like keying into, though. I think one of the most amazing part of being an artist is that you're an ethnographer. Mm -hmm. Like you, you are you are you are a documenter of history. Yeah. Right. So you are very relevant. Exactly. To the right. next generation. Very relevant. Case study. Relevant. But case study. Case yeah. study. <laughs> yeah, very relevant. Exactly. So the concept of art is not being really relevant, then that that's a false pre preconception. Exactly. Right. And you know, you can actually do it if you put your mind to it. I I think that's one of the reasons why I really love and respect Imao Dumadi. Like yeah. some, one of my one of you know the young artist who is like 
breaking all the boundaries. Yeah, we're gonna have it on yeah, this show no. someday. We're gonna have him on this show. <laughs> you someday. definitely do. You de- definitely should do. And um, you know, just seeing him grow, yeah, and seeing him have the passion, and you know, even being a man to love that inspiration for him for me is like, it's a big deal. Do you understand? Yeah, it's a yeah. big deal, and it, it shows me the extent of what can happen in the Nigerian art Artsy, industry yeah. if they were they were more like me they were more like you they were more like Karinzi yeah they were more yeah. like um, Ayogu they were yeah. more like Oscar my people who enjoyed and people who you know find so much fulfillment yeah. in connecting more people into this industry and making them realize that you can, you can be successful in it yeah. you can do well in it and all artists does not have to just be jaga jaga right you can be <laughs> you can you can have like this kind of fresh ass camera with your wine and, <laughs> uh, and you have your laptop and your pad and you're still a visual artist come exactly. on man uh, that's come a huge on. point <laughs> like, man, I, I, don't know, I don't know about other about people but to me having the opportunity to wake up anytime you want go to your canvas <laughs> make a painting that you really like yeah. and post it on social media or show a few people and they were like I want to buy this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a sense of fulfillment. I mean, yeah. people who know my work, they know my like. Yeah. I paint simple life, man. Yeah. I don't. I don't like stress. Yeah. You can see in my work that <laughs> this a guy doesn't like stress I one say, bit. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So, like, I think that passion, where yeah. that passion is, is giving you that fulfillment you yeah. want. Yeah. That's the that's yeah. the, the look up, man. The dream is not dead. You just yeah. have to put in the work. That's yeah. why we talked about perseverance and hard work in this segment. And I like what you shared with us, man. Mm-hmm. And it's been like bullseye, basically. Yeah. I think this is what a lot of artists need to yeah. key in to yeah. the project. Because I see a lot of um, potentials in younger artists. And they're like, ah, I'll be draw, I'll be yeah. draw, but yeah. like, no money. For it. I was like, bro, yeah. Google me. <laughs> that's just it. <laughs> I said, look me up on RT. Get the inspiration that you Just need, get man. the inspiration. <laughs> see, 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 see how much we, we 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 put our work out there and see the kind of work we're making. The people who follow yeah. us yeah. and stuff. And I feel this younger generation need you, to get it, man. You even said something. You said um, you don't like stress, and I think that's one of the most interesting part about your work, <laughs> right? You see, no other thing in the world shows things from your perspective than exactly. art. Exactly. Right? Exactly. If you're a photographer, it shows it from the camera's perspective. Yeah. Right? If you are a digital artist, right? If you're a digital artist itself, it shows you from your perspective because you are the one yeah. you know, deciding Creating, what yeah. happens what on happens. your digital canvas. Yeah. Right? So as artists, like, we see the world from our perspective. Exactly. And there is nothing as intriguing. There is nothing as new. There's nothing as unique and mystifying as uh, seeing life yeah. from a different perspective and i think that is what you know that that's what connects pe- a lot of people to your work and that's what even connects me to your work mm-hmm. because i see <laughs> I, I enjoy that perspective of of well i flattered like imagine <laughs> me being the host being the one interviewed <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy that perspective. So it's a, uh, it's, uh, it's amazing, man. I mean, amazing, yeah, coming from good. coming from someone like Mister, yeah, I don't blow again. No. Yes, you, <laughs> it blow times two. Your work not your up, mate. <laughs> up in twenty percent, thirty fifty percent. That's right, right. It's all good. It's all good. So yeah, before we wrap this up, man, do you like? I know you definitely have some final words for everybody who's listening, both the young, both the old. And Say those final, who, like I'm going to die tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> so, <I'm> just, <laughs> <laughs> Drink your last wine. <laughs> <laughs> like my son, <laughs> listen to my words. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, yeah, just some, some to like take home, basically, something for yeah. the listeners to take home and use it as an a sort of inspiration and motivation to not give up. You just any anything at all, just lay it all out. Hmm. So there's something that happens in this world, right? And is that the journey between the beginning and success or fulfillment mm. is be behind those two uh, or between those two points is a very big river, a very large river. Now, if you go inside it, you cannot swim in it because the waves are too much. 
Mm -hmm. right? It's cold as hell. So you freeze and die. (laughs) (laughs) So somebody gets to the front, to the, to the edge of the, of the, of the, of the the, the shore. Yeah. Right. And decides to build a long wooden um, raft. Right. And then places this long wooden um, raft. Raft or let's say platform. Let me yeah. not say raft because raft you, you use it to pass yeah. to the sea, but platform so you walk across it, mm-hmm. right? So he puts it on that platform and he starts his journey. The problem that people have is that they come to that shore and there is resources to create your own platform and put it there and create your own journey, but you decide to stick to somebody else's platform, Mm -hmm. right? So the concept of, you know, who gets to the end, to the finish line is is very important now because you can never be further than the first person who started working Mm -hmm. on that platform. So in life, it's always very important to create your own journey. See, all through your life, like all through my own life, we've been told what to do and how to do it. Yeah. Right? It's like the migrant, right? You put the migrant, you put the box on a luggage carousel, it moves wherever the journey or on a um on a um on a uh what would I call it now? On a on a belt, on yeah. a cantilever belt. It moves on the belt, wherever the belt you yeah, know, exactly. goes. Or if you, if you sit down on the belt, it will move wherever it goes. But the moment you have your legs, you can decide you where can you decide want to go. Want to go yeah. So all through your life, you've definitely been told what to do, right? Every fear you have is a reflection of another person's fear. Word, word, word. Every move you make is a reflection of someone else's moves. Right, you need to be aware of yourself and decide that you need to make a decision. Yeah. Get your own platform, lay it through the two shores, and start your own journey. Right. It is very important and is the only way to be successful in life. For that, me, that's, 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 that's gospel. Really. That's gospel. <laughs> <laughs> that's gospel for me. Man, you've shared a lot. Like, Thank you so much. Like, no, brother. No, I'm not even whining. So. <laughs> You've shared a whole lot, and I, I've I've picked out a few things from what you said personally, yeah. and I'm sure yeah. anybody who's going to listen to this, they've also picked up something. I mean, if you don't pick up something, listen to this episode again. <laughs> you listen again, again, again. This time, have wine. Exactly. It was <laughs> this time, have wine. Have wine or something. <laughs> I'm telling to you, get you, you in that faster. zone and all of that. <laughs> and non-alcoholic. That's where this man. is PG thirteen. <laughs> 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 of course so, man it's been wonderful having you here on the show with us yeah, man i really appreciate your t- your time God the energy fun. you've given us and it's always fun talking to you because man people get to learn something from you man i gotta say it doesn't even matter about the age this time everybody gets to learn something from every other person yeah, they listen yeah, they choose to yeah, listen to word, you word. so man i appreciate yeah. you coming over man job bless <laughs> man i'm i'm happy to be here i'm excited i'm in arinza's studio arinza's my good friend he's the greatest it's our good artist. friend he's the our sickest good friend. artist in the world man <laughs> i love that guy this is kd amazing artist yeah. beautiful painter i love him <laughs> and if you're watching this is ken we here with wine yeah we're, we're always here with good. wine man. we always here with wine we're always looking and good <laughs> with the next generation of Nigerian artist, so get ready. You heard it here first, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's still your boy, KD Yotaru, and this has been another splendid episode of the Atmosphere brought to you by the Pond Collective. You already know what we're all about. We're all about life, we're all about the universe, we're all about creativity, we're all about art, we're all about the youth, we're all about vibes and crews, man. You know how it is now. They keep on real, no, they form 100%. And from us here to you over there, catch you next time. Peace out. <laughs>